Lagos is the land of possibilities and many migrate here from all over Nigeria to realize their dreams. So was the supposed story of Mary Daniel, who went viral after being sighted selling water on the streets of Lagos. After going viral, new facts about who she might be began to surface. The cable found her family in Abuja, and we heard shocking revelations about who Mary Daniel really is and the lies that trailed her overnight success. The cable uncovers. I'm bringing Les Nadi Damola. This is my mother, Jumi Abu. He's my nephew, Godwin, and he's my elder sister, Regina. Who are you to, Ojo, to Mary Daniel? I'm the grandmother of Ojo Lowa Mary. His mother is my first daughter. I'm born in 1973, April 18. It's my grandmother. She just this told mama she was going to a next neighboring village to buy some which is like 50 naira drop or even you can eat straight cable with one wrapper and shake and that was it. Like, mama did not see her. Mama started calling us. Before the mama has been calling and reporting, she did this, she did that. So that's the freedom she was looking for, she did not get. And she said she wants to go home. And we know you cannot handle her. You cannot control her because she's too she was she's stubborn to be sincere. So she woke up and one day mama did not see her again. Is this uh, this in trading that mama was the one that gave her to a husband, which mama is not aware of anything. Mama was here 2019. I gave birth to my baby February 23rd, 2019. April at about that 20th or something there about she called. Mama was in my place with my elder sister, and her call came. We didn't even know who was called. The number she used different different number every now and then to come. Mama. Meanwhile, while she was in that only channel server, we keep in touch once in a while. But we're really angry of the kind of life she was living and all the kind of things she was doing. So me, particularly, I was always angry that the kind of life she's living, she will not, the thing will not hear anything without education, all these things. So she now come and ask for congratulations, mama could say congratulations for what? Like, okay, you heard that your auntie put to bed, but you know, say no, she did not hear that she has put to bed today. Mama was shocked. I was shocked. My sister was shocked. How? When did you get pregnant? How did you even do it? How did you get married? And I told mother, it was that same boy that she came home. There was a time she came home quite okay, that she wants to get married to one boy. Mama told her, She's a grandmother. If you want to get married, take the boy to your father. People, I know your father because they are still family. If the grandma don't give daughter and grandchild out to husband. You must go back to your root. And that was the end. That's not the man. Is that same boy? During lockdown, Asaba, I don't know how she did Asaba. People will give her this amount, she got like 1.7 million there about, she said the boy stole 500,000 and ran away. I asked her, could they remain in money? Because I was in, after she put to bed, I kept in touch with her. What did you do with the money? Say, and she rented a flat for herself, a safe home, and she took care of herself and her baby. And, okay, you went back to the street. And I thought, don't you know that when people help you and give you money, they hope to see a new development that you are able to use that money for something reasonable or something good or something came out of it but not even showing anything going back to the street again sending what is as if they wasted their money on you not saying that she was not wise this that and that Online. Tomorrow I went to the office. I was like, please, on your way back, help me get a card. So I want to do my data and go online. And that's when I 
everything now. I saw picture of her. I was even shocked. I didn't even know when she was living at Sabato, Lagos or anything. I was like, ah, ah. and I went to the parlor and looked at her. This, this is a John Uba now. Because her name is a John Uba. Not the Meridania she's claiming. <laughs> her name is a John Uba. Dan, uh, um, yeah, I think she added on uh, last week a uh, video now. The first week she was very married, Daniel, but she now added. When I sent the picture, I sent she's my friend on Facebook. She's very married, Ojonova, on Facebook. I sent, a, I snapped some of this picture and sent to her. This is your story, this is your family, this is your mother, uh, your auntie, your grandma. And so, how come you are saying you don't have family, nobody cares for you? This is the true story behind. Yeah. That was when, like, if you don't stop all these things and you don't have family, nobody care for you. That when the accident happened, people who are married and the one that took you to the hospital. Hmm. Is that what the story was? Is that how the real story? So that's what she now. She now tell me why did I, why why did I send the, why did I share? She chatted me why did I send those pictures? And then she asked me. I did not answer. I said, I want Nigerians to know your truth because you are lying and you are condemning the family that nobody took care of you. We are not interested in your money, but the fact that you are saying you don't have family and telling all these lies is what I will not accept. Saying my elder sister died in the car accident, which it was never true. She died in 2012. My one week to graduation from the university, that was my elder sister passed away. She's, this one is next to her. She's a first one. She said her, her younger brother is in the village. She's the one catering for the, elder, the younger brother, which is a lie. The boy is here with my elder sister. Right from the is one is in the one present. She said, Mama gave her a suit of her. Her child is with Mama. Her child is not with Mama. She left the child with the woman, her former neighbors, there in Asaba, mm. which they have located from Asaba to Ayamba. Yeah. When she was here in Abuja with my elder sister, this she in the hospital in Boko with the grandmother. She was four years and not ten years as she claimed. This is the family picture, 2007. She's here. She's here. This is her mother. She claimed her mother died at the accident scene, which is not true. This is she. This is me. This is when she was living here in Abuja with my elder sister and her, her two sons. She was using artificial leg as of, as of them when she was here in Abuja. This is she. When she was in the village with my mother, her grandmother, and her brother, when my mother was sick. As of this time, she was not even up to 10 years. Okay, this is me. This is where I was working. Don's filling station, Kasnala, that was able to pay for her hospital bill. When that happened to her, this is me. This is me and her. When we lost my father, 20, 2007. This happened to her 2006 and this 2007 when my dad died. This is her younger brother. This is she when we were in Makodi. 